Hi everyone. So today, so last class that we have discussed uh, uh, synthetic monitoring that is called API test in the last video that already we have discussed. In this, in this video, we'll be discussing synthetic monitoring for multiple API tests. Okay. Synthetic monitoring for multiple API tests. Multiple API tests. So in that, uh, suppose uh, you have six applications. Six applications. So six applications uh, has uh, the main availability of the URL, right? So you have around, uh, suppose you have a six URL. Okay. So six URL, totally if you have a web app, mobile app, that also, right? So in that uh, six applications, you have uh, six URLs and you want to uh, add all the URL in one sort, okay? And you want to configure uh, synthetic monitoring uh, and uh, you can add uh, you can add multiple, you can take a multiple API test and all the URLs, right? From run, should run from the same locations. Uh, then uh, to configure each and every separate, you can configure one and you can add uh, all the URLs in one sort, right? So this is a time, this is not much time consuming. If you are adding uh, separate by separate, uh, then there will be somewhat time consuming. If you are adding all the URLs in one sort, there will be not time consuming, right? So let's see that, how you can configure a multiple uh, URL monitoring. Okay? So let's go to data log portal, okay? UX monitoring, synthetic test, okay? Then new test, so we have a new multiple API test, okay? So here, we are here now. So I will give the test name. So just I'm giving the test name is uh, production prod endpoint down. Okay. We have this test name. In that test name, we can add multiple URLs. Okay, application URLs. So just environment it taken because this is a prod. So I don't want to add a staging uh, UAT environments. Okay. Uh, additional tag is not mandatory. If you would like to have that, it is fine. Otherwise, so this uh, URL should run from the locations, right? So I would like to run the Mumbai. I would like to run from um, North California. So two locations. So now I need to define the steps for this. I need to add multiple URLs for this, right? So take a creator first. So given the test name, test name. So this is the uh, application, right? So just I'm adding. Test name join Upwork front end up, Upwork landing page. Landing page, okay. You'll take the URLs. One second. So resume it. Sorry guys. So let's take the URLs. So I'm taking home URLs. Control C. So I get test the URLs. Save it. So this is the script should run. Response time in less than 2000 milliseconds passed. If you would like to add uh, 3000 also, then I'm fine with that. Uh, 3000 millisecond and then I'm fine with that. So just add your files, okay? So this is okay. Add, so URL ability missed, status should be a 200, okay? This is called, okay? Add another steps, so another URL. So Wing Dynamics landing page. Wing Dynamics uh, landing page. So I'll take this. Copy, Control V. This is the first step. This is the this is first steps. Test the URLs. Okay. So this is also passed. Okay. So turn it. Okay. So like this, you can add multiple URLs. Okay. Even you can add some services also. It's fine with that. You can add so every one minute should run. Retry test, 
uh, second first two times after 300 milliseconds of failure another alert the test fails five minutes for just i'm adding to avoid multiple alerts i need to notify the book so we'll take at the rate also it will work okay then notify your team members so that's fine so same thing it was getting added then uh, you want to add every 10 minutes the re notify monitor has been not been resolved okay and create a test so like this you can create a uh, multiple multiple api test okay so let's refresh the page okay if something you have done the mistakes and you like to add more edit or modify something you click here edit so you can edit here so suppose i have done the frequency one and i would like to run for every 30 second right just just scroll here and save it so you can see for last 15 minute data the data started getting checked now so like this you can get the data now you can see right so all the locations the data is getting and they'll give the status anything goes down uh, you'll receive alerts so you want to see the all the locations you can see in the last video i have showed you that uh, synthetic test so you can hear so this is will your url right so multiple multi steps uh prod and point by now okay you can see right last time we have configured join up work for url for api test so you can see right if there is any alert or trigger so you can see right so now that percentage will decrease so you can see alerted so you can see 20 minutes ago that alert was increased so you can give you can give those details first time it took three three seconds you'll get this many details so that's it uh, for much so if you go for the multiple prod and point now you have the data you have the details see graph all the cost you can see all the data right tag prod okay if you would like to define some okay run the test now so test is successfully launched okay so that's it guys uh, for uh, uh, multiple api tests in next class in next, in next video i'll say that uh, how to create a synthetic monitoring for browser base and then we'll finish this topic, bind up this topics, and we'll go for a container base, all those things. Okay. Thank you. All the best.